Yeah, that's right. The police union here has been saying for quite some time they need more officers and pairing up on the streets is one good way to reduce the risk of an attack on officers. But with the current staffing levels, officials say they're not sure how long they can keep that up. It's a very sad, somber and uh, in some regards, frightening uh, aspect right now of the change. Fraternal Order of Police President Robert Schwartzwelder says this is a troubling time to be an officer. Many in Pittsburgh are concerned after seeing their comrades in Dallas and Baton Rouge ambushed. I've been a police officer a little over 28 years right now. I've never seen this many officers killed in this short period of time. In Pittsburgh, we've seen protests and this anti-police graffiti, which showed up on a bridge, even warnings of a threat to attack officers in Zone 5. The fear is that it could soon transform into actual violence. Pittsburgh's police chief last night said officers in all city neighborhoods will now respond to calls in pairs. Schwartzwelder believes that is a good and important step, but wonders how long that can last with the force's current staff levels. It can't help. It's about a 45 to 50 percent reduction. But the question then becomes, how long can it be sustained? And the FOP president also says he believes that officers on the streets need more support from people in power, including mayors and governors, and even the president. I can tell you two members of the police force here in Pittsburgh are traveling down to Baton Rouge for the funerals of those fallen officers. Reporting live downtown, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.